Hello, Bennies and Johnnies. My name is Angie Kurtnick Complin from the class of 2004. I'm excited to share a few helpful tips regarding LinkedIn with you today. Uh, let me just start by saying I hope that each of you are safe and healthy and your families are, are doing well. Uh, it is clearly an unprecedented time, one in which we are all learning. Um, so you are not alone um, as you adapt um, and adjust to the new normal. Um, we are all doing that. And lucky for us, we uh, have been blessed with a liberal arts education that has uh, taught us how to think critically, uh, problem solve, communicate, all those things that are really important in a crisis right now. So uh, let me be helpful perhaps today regarding LinkedIn. Uh, for many of you, you, you might be um, just getting started with, with finding some experiential learning opportunities, maybe internships um, that might be virtual this year, uh, or maybe even you're looking for that first full-time job. And LinkedIn can be a great tool for you in doing so. Um, so first, you need a profile if you don't have one already. Um, and then second, I would add um, just here's some, some kind of tips that, that would probably be more tactical, but that are important. Um, and actually, before I jump in, maybe I would just add by saying, you know, your, your LinkedIn profile is, is a is meant to be a complement to your resume. It shouldn't be word for word the exact same information. Naturally, there will be some information that is rep repeated. Uh, yet LinkedIn, I would say, is a way to kind of uh, allow your personality to shine. Um, a resume might feel a little bit more formal and buttoned up, whereas LinkedIn is, is where you're a person. And, and, and let's, let's have you come to life a little bit more. Um, as a talent director uh, for Granite Equity Partners, I am reviewing resumes all day. And when I get a resume, I'll you know, I'll review it quickly and then I go to LinkedIn because I want to see how else can this person kind of come to life for me. So, um, you know, I would add a photo um, that that obviously is a, a very uh, clear, or obvious way for, for someone to associate a name with a photo. Kind of helps, helps them picture who you are, literally. Um, I would also um, draft a compelling summary. At the top of your LinkedIn profile, um, uh, you can create what I would call is your elevator pitch. So if you were to meet me or someone else, a CEO um, in an elevator, how would you introduce yourself in three to four to five sentences? Um, kind of what are, maybe what are those technical skill sets that you have? What are those soft skills? And sort of, you know, you can be as, as direct as saying, you know, you're seeking an opportunity in X, Y, and Z. Um, you could focus on accomplishments and aspirations, uh, but really this is a, an area on your profile that, that you can um, add, add more color, add more context as to who you are. Um, next, I would detail your work experience, uh, um, you know, including, you know, titles, companies, times, but maybe a sentence or two as to what you did in those positions. Again, it, it shouldn't be word for word bullets of what's on your resume, um, but maybe just a brief key responsibility and a key accomplishment. Um, you can add examples of work. Um, so you can upload photos, you can upload presentations, you can upload videos. Maybe you have more videos now if, if you're learning through Zoom and, and, and presenting or sharing with your professors. Um, it gives a, a dynamic, visually appealing representation of your professional story and your skill sets. Uh, next, I would add volunteer experience. Again, this notion of you kind of coming to life through your LinkedIn profile. Um, you know, member, people that add volunteer experience um, 
it, it shows an added dimension to who you are. Uh, you can also add skills, specific skills, and then people can endorse you on those, um, whether it's former work supervisors, professors, on-campus uh, mentors, peers, etc. Again, it's another added dimension to show um, your skill sets, your abilities. And then lastly, I'd share, you can request to have recommendations. Um, so just like you probably will provide references um, in a job search, this is a, a great place to more publicly get those references. So again, maybe a, a, a former supervisor um, is probably the most obvious or um, even, you know, on-campus work peers, um, you know, it might not be as appropriate to do classmates, um, you know, those maybe that you've worked in groups on. Again, think more professional work references. Um, so, you know, make sure you, you, finally you've got just the basics on there with location, education, um, really having key accomplishments listed in your LinkedIn. Um, I hope you found this helpful. Um, please find me on LinkedIn. Again, my name was Angie Kurtnick Coplin. I welcome the chance to connect with each of you. Um, uh, check out my LinkedIn. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, and, and if there's ways in which I can help support you from afar, I stand ready to be there for you. Um, and just know there's a whole network of Benny and Johnny alums that are ready to help you as you work your way through this, this different time.